from watching this footage. I'm Zubai Bon here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to you. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley. I'll just have to mention this. Maniac. Real name Dr. Lester Edwards. Height 5 feet 10 inches, weight 148 pounds. Status villain and lover of crazy. Base United Kingdom, Alpha Earth Mobile. Intelligence 4 brains to 3 brains. Behavior Intellectual and willful, yet sinister and menacing. He always enjoys his insanity and also his greatest love. Lethality He always ends up becoming a problem. Weaknesses He has no healing factor. Powers. In his default form, he's highly intellectual. In his altered form, he's hopelessly insane and murderous, which also grants him with high agility and utterly notorious strength. Eyes light brown, hair light tan. Origin. In the 19th century of the Alpha Earth, Dr. Lester Edwards was a psychologist who always admired the human mind. One night, Lester made a serum to supposedly make him unable to sin but it did the opposite. Turning into maniac, he went rampant and did so many crimes that he flunked the continent. However, if he neglects the serum, he'd go through a pattern of falling comatose. Eventually, Crazy arrived and fell in love with maniac, despite the fact that she isn't amused with Lester and that Lester is scared of her. Soon, Crazy told maniac to join her and be with her always. After doing so, Neither Maniac nor Crazy had ever stopped bothering Lester. Costume. He wears 19th century gentleman clothes. Team Solitary with Crazy and other villains. Or Inspiration, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Here's the next character. Just so you know. Twist. Real name, Teresa Barrett. Height, 5 feet 7.5 inches. Weight, weightless. Status, hero in vengeful poltergeist. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Willful and dignified, she'll do anything to rid misogyny from the globe, hoping to make life better. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Depression. Powers. She has immortality, intangibility, can produce a deafening scream that can shatter glass and tear metal, and is an unpredictable fighter. She can also twist the head of her opponent backwards, along with being able to look forward without turning around. Eyes deep silver, formerly green, hair silvers black and luscious. Origin. Teresa Barrett was once a bride-to-be without realizing that she was going to marry a serial killer. On the night before her wedding, her fiancé took her to the top of the Empire State Building to show her the view, and he pushed Teresa off the deck and she fell onto the streets. Though she died from it, Goddess brought her back to life, and due to the impact of the fall, her head was forever backwards. On her first mission, Twist tracked down her former love and killed him by screaming into his face. Since then, Twist will try abolishing all misogyny and when it's finally done, she can travel to Cloud Nine. Costume. She wears her own wedding dress. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes, or inspiration, brides, and spirits. Here's the last character. Soulsucker. Real name, Megan Trevers. Megaleth, biological. Height, 5 feet 10 inches to varied. Weight 162 pounds to varied. Status anti hero in Sister of Denstrini. Base Tartarus and the Paranormal Defense Headquarters. Intelligence Four Brains. Behavior Lovely and Mischievous. She enjoys sucking out souls. Lethality Extremely lethal, both physically and spiritually. Weaknesses She hates having to experience the wrath of her sister. Powers she has all the powers of a succubus, along with mass alteration and the ability to transport her opponents to Tartarus. Eyes bright red, hair blonde and flowy. Origin. After the adoption of her first child, Tartara found a baby succubus that she named Megaleth. 
By her late adolescence, Megan decided to visit her older sister, Denstrini. However, Soulsucker made the mistake of draining Gilface of his soul and drained Fahrenheit to keep from blowing her cover. Eventually, the employees found them unconscious, and Denstrini started fighting Megan. After defeating her, Denstrini forced her to puke out their souls so she could bring her partner and daughter back. Afterwards, Denstrini told Soulsucker that if she does it again, she will ultimately take her back to Tartarus. Since then, Megalith will do anything to avoid angering Denstrini and is recently hired by Colossa as a member of the Ladies of Love. Costume. She wears the usual succubus clothes. Team Solitary with Denstrini and other heroes. Original inspiration? Dark Sockers, Morrigan, Ansland. Well, those are the three characters, you know. And I uh, hope if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent St. Patrick's Day and such. And until next time, in transmission.